You're watching the CBS 42 Morning News. Welcome back. It's been a big weekend ahead of an even bigger week for presidential candidates. Two candidates actually made stops in the Magic City ahead of Super Tuesday. Florida Senator Marco Rubio continued his verbal fight against Republican frontrunner Donald Trump during a Yellowhammer presidential forum that was at Sanford University's Wright Center. Rubio took a more presidential tone during the forum Saturday afternoon, but it still didn't take him long to sound off on Trump. You'll recall Rubio and Trump fought each other hard in the last GOP debate getting into a shouting match at one point. Yesterday, Rubio called Trump a con artist, but he did shift his attention to other topics, including the battle between Apple and the FBI. On the Democratic side, Hillary Clinton surprised customers at a couple of restaurants downtown. She surprised customers at Yo Mama's Restaurant and Urban Standard. Thank you all. Thank you very much. She also made a get out to the vote to vote rally stop at Miles College yesterday, speaking to a crowd of over 2,000 people. Clinton covered topics like climate change, health care, and the economy. Clinton also praised Mayor William Bell for attempting to raise the city's minimum wage. And don't forget to cast your vote in Alabama's primary election. Voters for both the Republican and Democratic parties will head to the polls Tuesday. Polls will be open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And we'll be watching those polls very closely as the results come in throughout the evening. We'll have complete result coverage on the CBS 42 News at 10. Well, it's like barbecue heaven in Houston, Texas right now. That's where the world, actually, the world championship, excuse me, barbecue contest is being held. It's a pitmaster's version of the Super Bowl. 250 teams are competing this year for some major bragging rights, including squads from around the world. And it's not just about the food, even though that food does look really good. During the three-day cook-off last year, more than five Five million dollars were raised to provide scholarships and other education programs for Texas students. That's good. So you're eating, eating real good, and you're doing good as well, right, Nate? I'm just. I need a second. You're salivating. You just can't even stand. It looks Man. so good. I know. Is it acceptable to eat ribs at seven o'clock in the morning? Why not? I think so. The producer gave me the go-ahead, so I, I exactly. I think I'm going to do that. Just do it. Uh, a great sunrise.